Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so it looks like, um, I don't know, shuffling off camera for you some messages that I did get for you, Aquarius. Remember that true power comes from the divine because some of you are going to be in some real powerful positions or you have attracted a lot of different energy towards you, a lot of different abundance of people, places, opportunities. And then also um, there's somebody who could be trying to project themselves onto you or their energy onto you. It's like they want you to come back or they want you to stay where you're at. Uh, they want access to you. There could be a lot of dreaming or your dreams are significant right now. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see where Aquarius is right now. All right. How's Aquarius coming into the reading? Somebody feels like it's unfair. You know, either you Aquarius or the other person just feel like somebody is treating you unfair or it's unfair. You have five of wands and then a six of swords. So it's like um, maybe trying to cause havoc, strife, drama, gossip. Have you kind of, someone could be trying to kind of disturb you, disturb you, you know, disrupt your energy. And then also there's an, with the five of wands here, it's like there's opposition and strife in a relationship and a love affair because you both don't want the same thing. And some of you might just need to move on. Are you going to resolve to move on with the six of swords? You're going to just resolve to end it. Let it go. Stop fighting for this uh, because you're not getting what you want. This person has no intention of giving you what it is you truly desire. Some of you just, you need to make a more rational decision here or, or, or choice. And the rational choice might be just to move away from this. This could be love. This could be work also. There could be a lot of competition and fighting at work. The magician, it's like you have all that you need to actually move forward. The spirit could be kind of giving you some downloads in terms of making a dream real or realize yeah the queen of wands here because it's like some of you are really attracted a lot and some of you are trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time it's like you want to be successful this could be an entrepreneurial endeavor yeah king of wands all right so this definitely a relationship maybe somebody trying to project themselves onto you with the six of swords, they see that you're moving on or they want to reconcile with you. They want you to just, you know, forgive the past and move on with them. And they could be trying to manifest you. Yeah, with the five of wands there. They could be doing some manifestation ritual, thinking about you over and over. I heard writing your name. Okay, all right. So we're getting into some, some people who know what to do to kind of penetrate your energy saying your name writing your name over and over doing something where it's trying to they're trying to pull your energy so maybe that you reach out to them or you come back to them or you restore something here that card wanted to fall out you have the world card and the six of pentacles it's like this person wants you to give ten of cups and the two of cups could be dealing with a water sign you don't have to be it's like this person wants you they don't like that the power dynamic has shifted between the two of you. Maybe you're no longer focused on them. You're no longer waiting for them. You're going into this ascension process, just learning the lesson here with the world and the King of Wands. It was a very passionate relationship. You know, it was very fiery. It was it was a combustible is what I'm hearing. You just didn't know what you were going to get. This person feels like it's unfair that you're not talking to them. They want to reconcile. They want their happiness back. They want to call a truce between the two of you, especially if you are at odds. This person could be saying, look, now they are wanting this one-on-one -on -one relationship that they never gave you. Nine of Cups, the higher fem. So it's like they want to bring in some law and order, some something just here in this relationship. 
maybe there were a lot of different people or this person was keeping up a lot of different energies or they were maybe seeing a lot of different people and they weren't making a commitment to either. Somebody has walked away from a lot of uh, people that were vying for their attention and they're trying to manifest you back, Aquarius. They want you back for their own reason, their own emotions. But well, let's see what this person is offering. They feel like this was a temporary separation that you both needed to fix something within you to come back together, the amalgamation. This was the process of bringing you two back together. The chariot, the knight of swords. So it's like this person wants to take control, be in control, be in control of the narrative, the nine of swords. They don't like the fact that you guys are isolated, not talking. You have the judgment card. They want you to take them out of this mental anxiety, this prison. They're tired of going over and over in their mind about what happened. There was some significant event that caused you guys to break up or the energy to break down. The four of wands, so they want the relationship back. The knight of cups here. They want you to fall in love with them again. They want access to you. What does this person want with the Aquarius, the Ten of Pentacles, the Death card, the Five of Pentacles? So they want to go from one dynamic to the next. It's funny that the Ten of Pentacles came out first and then the Five of Pentacles. It's like they want you in their life forever, but there's also an energy of feeling like they don't have enough or lack of confidence. So you're not going to give them uh, the time of day. Or that the relationship has been in the dumps for way too long. It's going to be hard to get it out of this place. They definitely don't want the relationship to end. Yeah, they want justice. Something about fairness. Maybe they want to be honest with you. They want to apologize to you. They want to be fair with you. The King of Swords could be dealing with Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra. Um, the Empress. They see you as the number one. What I'm, I don't know, you know, let's see if you should trust this person. They see you as number one. They see you as a person that they can have a lot of happiness, contentment with. They could even want to get you pregnant, maybe to make you stay or make you, yeah, you have no options. Okay. Illness, sickness, and reverse. Maybe they're coming out of that or they want you to bring them out of that. With you being gone out of their life, they feel like everything is just bad. Um... Okay, so friends with benefits and likable. Um, maybe they're coming out of having all these friends with benefits and they're realizing that maybe it's a good idea to go with um, who they like or something likable about you or you're the one that stands out or you're the one that's on top. Yeah, they knew that they were putting others before the relationship and now they want to be kind. You could be mixed race or this person kept you in a place of, you know, confusion mixed minds mindset like they do march is coming in reverse march is um i don't know if it's going to be significant or it was significant um so, okay i heard something's not going to happen in march yeah you're not going to reconcile in march because somebody is too hard-headed and they need to finish up something okay um what else do we have they know that you make them happy that is one thing and they're playing all addicted to your energy they're seeing through to you or you see through to them or they're seeing through to themselves yeah that maybe you just couldn't take them serious um they want you to come out of this side chick forever type of role they feel safe with you they're trying to do something fast or they see that you're quick to act if you don't get what you want if you don't see it turning out in your favor you'll walk away what is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? All right. Okay, so you got a yes answer. Some of you is going to be yes, give them a, ch a chance. Do keep in mind that they'll say anything, but, you know, um, maybe to get you back. What is the advice for Aquarius? They were hiding several affairs from you, but now they're fighting that temptation. Um, the people that they're putting off or they're leaving could be angry because they want to save the marriage or the relationship with you. Uh, the advice is that they dumped you or you dumped them, but now they want you back and they want forgiveness with you. They see uh, security. Okay. 
They're holding back their emotions. How much they like you, how much they love you. It's been weeks of no communication. What this is this could be your person, Aquarius. Yeah. With legacy coming out. For some of you. Now you'll know your story. Um if you this person is stuck here. It's stuck. If you know that this person was a cheat, they gave you, you know, illness, STD, they hurt you, they beat you, they stole from you, they did all of these horrible things and they're still capable of doing those things because they haven't gone and gotten help, then you know this is not your story. If this is just a relationship where it was kind of off and on, hot and cold, you would leave, they would leave, you would resurface back in each other's lives. If you know that there was no real, you know, egregious thing or event or situation within the relationship, then maybe this could be your story. I always get a personal reading so you can kind of drill down on, on your story, you know, because this is general, right? Um, the Ace of Cups, you got another yes answer. This person is very much in love with you. And they, they realize this in that separation, that Four of Swords. They're trying to figure out how they can come back towards you. Three of Cups. The Five of Wands, it's like they could be doing magic or trying to do magic. Or they could be leaving like a group of people that caused a lot of confusion. Or they had a lot of different people, a lot of different friends with benefits. These people are getting upset with them. Yeah, they're trying to do the just and fair thing. They want to do the right thing. This talks about doing the right thing. Wild wow, star card. It's like now they get it. Wow, that they get the 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 true nature of the relationship, the significance of the lovers' union, of the lovers' relationship. I mean, we could talk all day about the lovers uh, in this card, but. This card, you know, it, it, it carries a heavy weight because it's about life alter, you know, altering choices. And it's just a choice. So you can choose whatever you want. It also talks about free will. It's about meeting that significant person, right? Knowing that they're significant, but you still choose to do otherwise. And you still choose to, you know, maybe keep all kinds of different people in your energy and then when you do that and you don't choose the soulmate journey, it's like lifelong or, you know, a lifetime of thinking about this person, ramifications. You always go back to this relationship because you didn't choose it because it's so significant. So this person is really understanding the significance of meeting you. They knew that they were very passionately drawn to you um and a feminine energy could have recognized the spiritual connection or the twin flame soulmate life partner type of connection before the masculine energy did so um yeah this person is finally getting it you know because they, they can't get over you yeah wow the will of fortune they want to really change this they were dealing with some, they want to make this real because there was some aspect about this relationship where you guys really didn't, it didn't really manifest. It was always in the three, it was always in a 5D. Like you knew that this is your person and they knew that, but they did not make it real. But it's like, they want to promote you. They want to make it real in, within their life. They want to maybe even propose something to you wow two of cups they understand the nature of you got nothing but good cards coming out wow i just keep pulling good cards <laughs> all right so for some of you this is a person who really gets it now Jeez, and they just need you to take them out of this nine of swords energy sun card the empress the four of wands the queen of cups the two of cups this is somebody who you're in separation with and now they finally get it. It's like, this is my person. I can't get over them. I can't stop thinking about them. I can't get away from them. I hear their name. I look on the side of a bus. I see their name. I see 
I hear a song. It's the song we used to dance to, we used to talk about. I go to the restaurant. I remember we sat in that one booth over there. You know, it's just, it's too many synchronicities here. Um, and now this person is finally getting it. Yeah. Should Aquarius trust this person? But seven of pentacles, six of, of cups. It's time apart right now. And if you're not talking, it says don't go and force it. But the six of cups, yes. The seven of pentacles. This says maybe because it still needs to be that the hierophant. That this is time apart so that you both can learn what it is you need to learn and then come back together and be stronger. And you can get over the fives, the five of pentacles, the five of wands, the five of swords, the five of cups. You know how to deal with each other in the face of adversity, in the face of other people trying to insert themselves in the relationship, in the face of interjection or reversal you know how to deal with one another you know how to have law in order that's what the hierophant is about so it's like the seven of pentacles says take a passive approach like don't do anything realize that this is a time of no activity it's not over it's not done and we know that you're frustrated but see seeds have been planted Harvest time will come for this relationship. For some of you, it's just not the time, but do know that this is your person. You can trust them. This is your soulmate. Maybe you have done this for many lives, you know, many past lives. And in this life, you will come together. But right now is not the time, okay? Um, with the seven of pentacles, yeah, you need to, this person is trying to get over some deep seated issues and then they will take the lead and reach out. But their loyalty, their devotion, their dedication has always been with you and they're still watching you. Okay. As you are them. And, um, yeah, but they got to get over some stuff before they can come back to you. They're very heartbroken and maybe you are, they just don't like the isolation, like how you have, kind of built a fortress around yourself or your heart or communication like they can't communicate with you or they don't know what to say to you or if they communicate with you they're not sure if you if it's going to be well received so they're not and they just continues they continuously think of you so i think both of you have to figure yourselves out apart you're not perfect Aquarius and neither is your person so it's the, it's just about fixing you and then coming back together eventually um, but this is your this is your person you got a lot of cards that says yes 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 um, but it's not time it's just not time um, You need to go it alone right now. And you also need to establish something for yourself. You need to establish maybe some more material stability for yourself. You need to get over some issues too, as they do. It's just not time. You know, it is what it is. Um, You both are really thinking about each other heavily, like pining over the other, but not making any move. But that's a good thing. You're still in their energy. They're still in yours. There could be some nostalgic thoughts here. And it's because you have a deep soul connection and this person feels safe with you. Their devotion is to you with the Knight of Pentacles. But, um, Again, this is another card of standing still. Like, this is what you guys need to do. You get another card of standing still. Nine of Wands. 
so I think in this, so look at the word amalgamation. You know, it's the process of bringing two entities, two things together, right? So look at the word process. So, you know, a process is typically not, you know, a short, a short event. It's a, it could be a series of, so a series of events, a series of time, you know, whatever. So you might, this, this is just, building up to maybe you coming together yeah it's like you could be hurt they could be hurt you know they hurt you you hurt them maybe this could be gay lesbian bisexual relationship somebody has to have a residential move someone could be wrestling with their sexuality too it's been weeks of no communication and this person is thinking about you they want to thank you you know um there could thanksgiving could have been significant maybe found out that they were dating other people um what else this is yeah so before the universe brings you back together they want you both to have individual growth before it's a smart decision to bring you guys back. Wow, can't make it a separation. So it's just like, it's just not time. You guys have to start to see something clearly. <laughs> and then I said, not time and no came out, but look what came after them. I wanna surprise you with a new life, new home, new car, new baby, surprise. And this could be a surprise from the universe too. Yeah, it's just not time. So I know that you want to be with your person and you want to talk to them and you want to do this. But if you do it too soon before it's time, then, you, you know, you'll get the same result. You guys will fall apart again and then you got to separate and then, you know, it's back and forth. And it's, it's just not time, Aquarius. But keep this person in your heart and your mind, especially if you know that this is your person, if this is your story. Get your own personal reading also. Again, people who have taken, you know, egregious measures towards you have done things that are just, you know, inexcusable and just maybe there could be some irreconcilable things that they've done, then you know that, you know, and it's not your story. But if this is just the petty back and forth and the not being able to get along because you get too strong minded, strong you know, bullheaded individuals, this could be your story. But if somebody has done some crazy stuff to you, this might not be your story and get your own personal reading. I'm not saying that you can't forgive some very hard things and get back together. But what I am saying is that I don't advocate for those who have been put in positions where they have been taken advantage of tremendously and maybe even hurt hurt not emotional hurt but it may i'm talking about physical hurt emotional hurt financially hurt spiritually i mean just everything if this person has done all of those things to you you know weeks of no communication is probably not going to change them um so you you might want to get your own personal reading let's still go into spirituality and tarot card readings with the mindset of uh, rationality, logic. If it just doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. Don't try to force it. This is for entertainment and we're reading for a great number of people. So I want you to still have on your rational hat and your logic hat. Matter of fact, I want you guys to put some hats down in the comment section just to show me, just to show everybody else that look, we're still we're still logical, we're still rational, we have on our hats. Um, spirituality is one component of life. We still live in the physical. We still deal with um, very real things. So um, we can't just uh, be so spiritual that we're no earthly good, right? So uh, we still have on our logic hats and we still have on our rational hats and we're going to act accordingly, all right? 
that was my spiel. So sure. I hope that it resonates. I hope that you took something from the reading. I hope that this blesses you in some way. If it does, you can bless me. You can bless the uh, the channel so we can get new cards. Uh, we can get some new silk flowers. <laughs> um, whatever it is um if if you can then you can if you can't then bless me with that like go ahead and click that like button um thank you for always being here uh you can always uh, donate via the to me or the channel via uh paypal the link is below it, it says buy ella coffee and then also you can go over to the website book your own reading there you can catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night uh, 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, you could come for the collective reading and you can ask your questions um, and if you have a question right now that you want to get answered you can text your question to the number below okay that's what I have for you if it resonates it resonates if it doesn't I'll see you again all right take care